Hello and welcome to the English Guide of Challenge Mode Gold Gate of the Setting Sun. It's a very easy challenge mode to achieve on gold. Um, actually all our first tries were gold, so I recommend you guys start hunting with it. At the beginning, you want to have the tank pull everything, so basically this means everything till you reach the boss. Don't pull the boss yet by the way. As soon as you have a few adds as tank, you want to pull a tank in cool land, so basically physical damage reduction. Um, and when you have all adds up, you want as healer to pull a cooldown as well. Um, what you want to do is, as group, you want to stand either in the left corner or in the right corner, because then you can see the bombs very easily, and you can avoid them very quickly. Also, when you have all adds together, you want to use Bloodlust, you want to use potions, etc. Just DPS them down, try to avoid all bombs. Our Druid is facing the wrong way at this instance, in the corner. But if you face the other way, you can see the bombs where they are and you can either move to left or to move to the right. You can easily avoid all bombs. Try to use stuns, air effect stuns, etc. as much as possible because then you have less tank damage. If your healer is cool on mana you can instantly pull the boss afterwards, if not you should Take a Klexi Restorative Amber to get some mana, otherwise just use a mana cooldown. Um, this boss is fairly the same or as on Heroic. It's a fairly easy boss. The only thing you need to do is basically when you have the Sabotage debuff on you, stand in the corner, don't stand any near any bombs and let it, let it explode in the corner. Whenever you're hit by one of the explosive explosions, just heal, uh, get healed. And that's it. Uh, try not to stand in a path of one explosion. You can easily see where the bombs are. Don't stand in a path like Crimson and Bronze Grinder are not in a path right, right now because they're standing on the left and right side of it. Whenever a person dies because of the bombs just CR him if possible. In this dungeon you want to pre-pot as many times as possible since you don't use an invisibility potion in this instance. If the damage is low on the people, as healer you can DPS with the DPSs. As soon as the boss is dead, you go over to the next room. Here you face 4 adds. Uh, what you want to do is kill the caster first. Um, Whenever he does a cast, try to interrupt it, or interrupt it. Um, use air effect stuns, use air effect interrupts if you got them, and just air effect them down. As soon as the tank has enough aggro and the caster is dead, then the tank can move on, together with the healer. The DPS can just keep DPSing them. In this case you want to watch that you don't get stunned. Uh, as soon as you see him running, jump. Like jump. Okay, as soon as you're across the bridge, um, the tank has to pull everything in this room. Um, at this time you want to kill the casters first too, because they hit quite hard. If you got a tank or healing cooldown left, please pop it, because the damage is quite hard on everyone. Just area effect everything down, should be doable. Try to use area effect stunts and interrupt as much as possible like earlier said. As you can see this is not a very clean guide, but it was a first attempt and we actually managed to achieve gold, so that's why we use it as a guide. Also to show that it's possible to even achieve gold even with, a, with people dying, you see that we already had two people dying and two people get needed to get CR. One more will follow up later in the card, but we still make to get gold. Um, at the next pool you want to have the two big ones you see it and the caster you want to kill. This is because you want to have the count 
of the ads. You won't have enough enemy skills to actually achieve the challenge mode goal. Uh, you should see it because otherwise they can bug. I'm not saying it will bug, but just avoid everything. Just to see them and get on the elevator. Let one person click it. This boss is exactly the same as on the heroic. Um, the green pools hit for quite a lot, so don't stand in the green pools. If someone is taken by him, then just heal that person up. When he's doing the fire lines, be sure to stand as far away as possible from it. So either left or right. Um, you need to remember where it started, so because the second time you need to move to the point where it started. So now it happened on the left side. So you go to the left side. If you have any melee DPS in the group, you your main priority for melee is basically to nuke those little ads down. Um, however, we got three range, so we actually totally ignored all of the ads and just go gone for the boss, and the tank just takes the ads. Here you can see another DPS died. In, in our group and we still managed to actually get gold So once again, move out of the fire and move out of the green pools. That's basically what you need to do on this boss. As so here you can DPS with it, if no one is standing in the green pools. If someone is standing in the green pools, you need to heal them up quickly. As soon as this boss is dead, you need to assign one person who goes down and two person who are assigned to the cannons. We assigned the monk myself um, to actually run, but <laughs> apparently I was too slow because people catched up with me, so choose a different class besides a monk. Um, I click the gong or the bell or whatever it is, the brazier, whatever, at the end. And remember to click escape and then right mouse button and then left mouse button on yes. If you don't see your mouse, just click right, uh, right mouse button. Here you want to start killing the first group of ads. You prioritize the caster, like always. As soon as the caster is dead, you go to the second group. There you prioritize the caster as well. And then you just pull the boss. Remember to use air effect stuns and interrupts. Just use those on cooldown in this raid, in this dungeon I mean. It's quite easy to actually make a rotation for it. Now the caster is that and you go for the boss. The boss spawns little ads as tank you should keep them up. You should pick them and you should basically just air effect them as tank. Um, whenever the boss does frenzy at assault he will do a lot of attacks in, in a cone of him. Basically what you need to do as tank, you need to stand away from it yourself and try to put the ads in it. Um, you do not want to face it on top of the party and you don't want to have the boss staying in the green shit because it hits, for you it hits like quite a bit and the boss gains increased damage from it. As you learn DPS basically, he learn DPS, it's very easy. As DPS you shouldn't watch the little ads, it's just all about the boss. Uh, 
As soon as the boss is almost dying you want as tank to place him close to the door because then you have to walk less so it will spare some time. When you go back remember to re-cc those ads otherwise they can hit the DPS quite hard and he might die. Or she. Um, Remember to jump part by part, don't jump the whole way instantly because then you will need to get healed up etc before you pull. Uh, you want to assign two burst DPS to jump up and go kill the body. You want to pop Bloodlust and as tank you want to pick up the head. The last DPS should actually kill all the adds and there are also adds in the air. The DPS who is on the ground and not on the body should DPS the adds which are in the air. When you have melee DPS or multiple melee DPS in your party, let them go up because they can't do much on the ground to the air adds. So you want to have a ranged DPS attacking the air adds. Avoid the tornadoes. The more ads there are up in the air, the more tornadoes that will spawn. So you want to kill them quickly, otherwise the whole room will be filled with tornadoes and then it's quite hard to actually avoid everything. As soon as his shield wears off, you basically just DPS. As either you DPS with the other DPS, so since the damage is basically zero. Once you've killed the boss, you got gold. Congrats. Did you jo enjoy this guide or do you want to see more guides? Please check out the channel, like, subscribe and share this video as well so others can benefit from it as well. See you next time.